There was this woman um, sociologist who was writing about math anxiety. See, what happens is these stereotypes ring true in some ways. So she was saying that women weren't going into mathematics because they had math anxiety. And probably some teacher in the third grade something said something to you that turned you totally off to mathematics or looked at you the wrong way or put you in the back of the room or something. And so we need these sessions to cure you of math anxiety and uh, to just talk about your issues in mathematics. And that got a lot of attention, a huge amount of attention for the community outside of mathematics because it sort of rang true. You know, people do have math anxiety. In fact, that's good in mathematics that you feel anxious and then you solve a problem because <laughs> you know how to deal with that. And she got a big art, she wrote a book, it got into Ms. Magazine. And I was on the other side. I said, look, this is ridiculous. You know, I'm glad you're sort of publicizing this issue of few women in mathematics, but you don't want to put another stigma on top of here's another infirmity that women have that the, po the population in general doesn't have. Women have math anxiety and needs to be treated. And I was always on the other side of really pushing, just really, I said the only way to cure math anxiety is to make sure you can do mathematics and really having good courses on learning how to do mathematics so you feel comfortable doing mathematics and you know what you need to know. So there was always a debate here between me on the one side and these sociologists on the other. And eventually they, so they brought in some of the teaching of mathematics, but it was still very remedial. I really wanted to get people into advance work very quickly. And I, as a mathematician, I knew what you needed and I knew what you didn't need.